Hi everyone, it's Donette with Embroidery.com. Welcome to this week's machine embroidery demo. So first up is uh, Kimber Bell's Lace Studios. So now there are six different portraits um, in this, in this uh, CD. There's a watering can, a watermelon, um, let's see, a pumpkin, a witch's hat, and a tree. Then um, there are 50 other elements you can add on top of that. So for this witch's um, hat, I love how cute it is. She's added a couple pumpkins, well, three pumpkins, um, three stars, three different um, candy corns, and then of course two spiders, and then I love this little spider hanging off. These are so cute and so unique um, because they are freestanding lace. Um, once you're done, you can add it to a shirt, add it to a bag, add, put it on a pillow. So many different options available once you've stitched this. And again, like I said, there are over 50 different elements. You could use just, you know, the pumpkin and, you know, make earrings or something, you know, use the spiders and just make a pin. I mean, with 50 different elements um, that you can create, you could create more than just the six portraits, um, more than just the witch's hat or the pumpkin or the tree or anything. There's so many more designs that you could do. Um, just, I mean, the only limit is your creativity. It's absolutely amazing. So that is Kimberbell's Lace Studios. Okay, so next, oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute these are. Oh, I love it. Okay, so the wallet and a change purse, all in the hoop, all done in the hoop. Look at this wallet. So you can have, I mean, a checkbook, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, I would probably put pillows or pictures there, um, you know, to have that little uh, thing where you can put pictures in. And then of course it's got a zipper. You can put uh, money and stuff in. Um, it's also got a pocket here, of course. And then a uh, pocket. Oh no, there's no pocket on the other side. Oh, pocket right there. <laughs> I knew there was another pocket somewhere. A pocket right there. And then of course it's got the magnetic closure. How fun is that? I love the little, cute little ribbon accent on the zipper. And then the coin purse is just a simple coin purse. You've got the pocket in the middle. You also have a zipper in there as well um, to put change in. And then there's another pocket. So on this one, there are three pockets, two that are loose and one that has a zipper. And again, that magnetic snip uh, closure. I love these, these turned out so cute. So I've paired these with a six bowl Hemingway thread set. We've got um, Wild Plum, Dark Aquamarine, Dark Fuchsia, Loganberry, Dark Blueberry, and Berry Blue. So I picked some really fun blues and purples, but again, look, you can do them on any fabric you have with any thread. I love the quilting on each of these. And again, they're all done in the hoop. So once you're done, you have this adorable uh, coin purse or a wallet um, done entirely in the hoop. These just turned out so cute, so fun. Okay, so next um, is Halloween Sounds. So this design pack has 15 different designs. There's, I mean, I love this one, Hush, and it's got a graveyard with some headstones. What's this one? This one is Gasp, and it has a spider. Um, but look how cute. So these are basic pillowcases. She um, put the design in the middle, put the child's name at the top, added a ribbon, and um, it can go right around, tie it, and there is your trick-or-treat bag. Fill up the whole pillowcase full of candy. And it has their name on it and everything. How cute is that? You can, I mean, 15 designs. There's ghosts. Um, there's all, there's a skeleton in a coffin. There's all kinds of designs. But I love how creative she was putting it on the pillowcase with the ribbon and their name. Turned out so cute. Okay, so that has a Hemingway six full thread set as well. It has uh, Fall Harvest, Pure Purple, Neon Yellow, Light Charcoal, Brilliant Lime, and Tropical Orange. So a fun, fun way to make a trick-or-treat bag. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> okay, so next up are these cute, cute um, uh, dish towels for your kitchen. These come from Kimberbell's uh, Make Yourself at Home book. 
Now, this book uh, has so many things in there. So, of course, you've got the Make Yourself a Home quilt, but there are um, <clears throat> a table topper, there's a bench pillow, there's other little designs that you can make uh, bench buddy pillows with, and then, of course, designs that you can make and put in dish towels. This one is, if you could read this, dry the dishes. <laughs> you've got, of course, the cute utensils and stuff with the background being an applique. This one is, if I have to stir, it's homemade, which I totally agree on. <laughs> but these fun, fun, cute towels and just the simple design over the top. I love how she changed the fabric of the bowls and stuff. Just turned out so cute. So this is from Kimber Bowles, um, Make Yourself at Home. Uh, stay tuned, because in a couple weeks, I'm gonna show you the quilt and it is phenomenal. It is amazing. It's so cool. Okay, so that's the Kimber Bells uh, Make Yourself a Home Dish Towels. Okay, finally are these uh, Days of the Week Dish Towels. I don't know anybody that doesn't have a set of these from their grandma. Um, I think I've got a set from my great grandma. Um, whether they be the, the Sunbonnet Sue's or just anything. Um, and it's so funny because, you know, they stay in the chest. We never use them. Uh, which we should, we should use them because, you know, then it brings a little bit of them to us every day. But you've got every day of the week here, <coughs> you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Sunday has two options. You've got one where she's going to church and one where she's swinging. So you've got two options on Sundays. Now, each of these come in three sizes. Um, so I think there's 24 designs uh, in the whole pack. 24 designs of the whole pack um, with three design, three sizes in each uh, day. Um, so it gives you just a cute, cute um, uh, towels or gosh, you could do anything really. You could even do them without the, the, the name of the day um, and make a cute little quilt out of them. But I love them like hanging up laundry, ironing. I don't know what that one's doing. That one's going grocery shopping. Just cute, cute stuff. So I paired these with the Hemingworth variated thread. I thought they'd turn out cute. So uh, we have the very brown, very green, very purple, very yellow, very blue, and very pink. Um, you can see she didn't do them here in those colors. Um, she wanted to match them to her kitchen, of course. But I mean, they just turned out so cute and they're just basic flower sack towels. Even if you just had them, you know, on your stove, uh, over the handle um, and it just bring a little bit of you know your your that old grandma feel into your kitchen today I just I love this so okay well that is it for this week's machine embroidery demo head on over to embroidery.com I will have all the projects I've shown you here today in my embroidery blog as well as links to all of their design packs and thread sets make sure you turn your notifications on because that's how you'll know a new video is up and as always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave them for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!